Hello friend, how are you? Hope you are well. Today's video is going to be very interesting. Every power supply has a display through which we can accurately monitor the output voltage. Today I am going to show you a wattmeter or you can call it voltage output monitoring display. The reason for saying wattmeter is that you can properly monitor the voltage, current and watt. This is very important thing in this case of a variable power supply. I promise you, you can make it very easily. Let's move on the project. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB. The project I am going to make today. If you think you want to convert this project into a PCB, then of course I would say water it from JLCPCB. They have 10 years of experience in producing PCBs. JLCPCB does not take any extra charge for the color. You can purchase up to 10 PCB at a nominal price. For more information, you can visit their website. This is a demo video, that's why I will show you just by working on this breadboard. This is quite easy to make. For making this project, you will need a Arduino Nano and a liquid crystal display, a LM358 op-amp IC and some few common component. It is very good to say here, I used 0.22 ohms fiber resistor to measure current. This resistor will be used here as a shunt resistor. The shunt resistors what will increase depending on how much current you want to measure. You can use here at Mega 8 op instead of Arduino Nano. Let's move on to this project. Here I didn't want to describe lot about the code because I don't want to make this video boring. So I simply upload this code on Arduino Nano. As always you can find the code link in the description box. My first work is to place this LCD on this breadboard. It is very good to say here I use 10k potentiometer for LCD contrast adjustment. According to this diagram I connect Arduino to this LCD with some bunch of wire. Ok now it's done. And I put voltage in Arduino Nano with a USB jack. And you can see the LCD showing me the first message. According to this diagram I put LM358 IC on this breadboard. And I connect all the necessary wire with Arduino Nano to this op-amp IC. Now I will set my power supply in 8 volt and this voltage will be connected with this breadboard circuit. Here you can see this LCD is showing me 8 volt 0.02 milliamp current is consuming. This is pretty awesome right? Now I want to put some load on it and see what happened next. I attached a 20 watt filament bulb with it and you can see my power supply is saying me it consuming approx 800 milliamp current. And my Arduino watt method is pretty same as my power supply. I think this is quite usable. Here you can see an another option that is watt. This watt is actually calculated by ampere and voltage multiplication. And when I detach this filament bulb from this circuit and you can see the amp is totally goes down to zero position. I hope you can learn something new through this video. Is this device that good for a variable power supply? What would you say? Tell me your opinion in the comment section. So guys this is for today. If you have any question regarding this video, you can write your opinion in comment section. I will definitely answer your question. As always, you can find the code and diagram link in the description box. You can download it from there. See you in the next video.